Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a Daily Devotional. Today's reading is entitled No Patchwork Religion, December 2nd. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Matthew 24 verse 13. The religion that is built on self is worthless, for God makes no compromise with selfishness. The religion of Christ is a firm fabric composed of innumerable threads woven together with tact and skill. Only by the wisdom that God gives can we weave this fabric. Trusting to ourselves, we draw into it threads of selfishness, and the pattern is spoiled. There are many kinds of cloth which at first have a fine appearance, but they do not endure test. The colors are not fast, they wash out. Under the heat of summer they fade and are lost. Such a fabric cannot endure rough handling and is worth very little. So it is with religion. When the warp and woof of religion will not stand the test of trial, the material of which it is composed is worthless, and an effort to patch the old cloth with a new piece does not better the condition of things. For the worn-out, flimsy material breaks away from the new, leaving the rent much larger than before. Patching will not do. The only way is to discard the old garment and produce a new one. The religion of self, composed of threads that fade and give way under the stress of temptation, must be cast aside to be replaced by the religion woven by him in whose life no selfishness found place. Christ's plan is the only safe one. He declares, Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21 5. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 The Savior gives no encouragement to any to think that he will accept a patchwork religion. Such a religion is of no value in his sight. There may at first seem to be some of self and some of Christ, but it is soon seen that there is none of Christ. The patches of selfishness increase till the entire garment is covered with them. A religion formed after the divine pattern is the only one that will endure. Only by striving to live the life of Christ here can we prepare ourselves to live with him through the eternal ages. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling.